Hello everyone, it's time to get practical. American English Files 2nd Edition Book 1 Practical English Episode 4 Alright, now first look at the pictures. What do you see? Huh, people on the phone speaking. And again, this is Rob and this is Jenny. A free morning. Rob and Jenny are planning what to do on their free morning. Watch the clip. What is the problem? What is the problem? Okay, let's do it. So, Jenny, we have a free morning. What do you want to do? Well, you're the expert on London life. What do you suggest? Well, we can go cycling. I don't have a bike. We can rent bikes. It's easy. That's cool. Okay, great. So we can cycle through the parks and you can see a bit of London. Oh, hang on. Uh-oh. It's Daniel. Daniel, hi. Hi, Rob. You need to do an interview this morning with an artist. He's at the Tate Modern. Can I do the interview on Monday? Sorry, he can only do this morning. Okay, send me the details. Thank you very much, Rob. I'm sorry. That's okay. I understand work is work. But I can meet you later outside the Tate Modern. It's on the South Bank. I can find it. I have a map. I can cycle there. <laughs> Let's meet at 12 o'clock then. Great. Rob and Jenny want to go sightseeing, but Daniel calls Rob and asks him to do an interview with an artist that morning. Bad luck. Now, watch again. Complete the sentences with a word, a name, or a number. So, complete the blanks with a word. A name or a number. Okay, now first, Tate Modern is a famous art gallery in London. The name Tate Modern. Okay, let's do it again. <laughs> So, Jenny, we have a free morning. What do you want to do? Well, you're the expert on London life. What do you suggest? Well, we can go cycling. I don't have a bike. We can rent bikes. It's easy. That's cool. Okay, great. So we can cycle through the parks and you can see a bit of London. Oh, hang on. Uh-oh. It's Daniel. Daniel, hi. Hi, Rob. You need to do an interview this morning with an artist. He's at the Tate Modern. Can I do the interview on Monday? Sorry, he can only do this morning. Okay, send me the details. Thank you very much, Rob. I'm sorry. That's okay. I understand work is work. But I can meet you later outside the Tate Modern. It's on the South Bank. I can find it. I have a map. I can cycle there. <laughs> Let's meet at 12 o'clock then. Great. Okay. Very nice. Check your answers with your partner. Good. Number one. Rob suggests that they go cycling. You know cycling, right? Bicycle. Number two. He says that he can rent bikes. He says that they can rent bikes. Good. Number three. Daniel calls Rob. Number four, Rob needs to interview an artist. Number five, Rob asks if he can do the interview on Monday. For days we use on, on Monday. Rob and Jenny arrange to meet at 12 o'clock outside the third mother. Tate mother, I told you, it's a famous art gallery in London. Very well, everybody. You did very good.
Now, in the next part, vocabulary, directions, okay? Look at them. On the corner, at the traffic light, a bridge, okay? First, match the words, these words, with the picture. Look, we have the numbers on the picture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Match the words with the pictures. Okay, do it. Now, everybody, I want you to listen and check. 3.65 3 On the corner 1 At the traffic lights 5 A bridge 7 Across from 2 Turn left 4 Turn right 8. Go straight ahead. 6. Go past the church. Okay. Now these are the answers. For example, 3. On the corner. Number 1. At the traffic lights. Number 5. Let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. A bridge. Number 7. Across. Look, they are across each other. Number two, turn left. Number four, turn right. And number eight, go straight ahead. And number six, go past the church. To pass the church, past the supermarket. Well done. Now, everybody asking the way. Again, look, this is again Jenny. Jenny is going to cycle. Now, Jenny is trying to find the Tate's mother. Watch the clip. Is it A, B, C, or D? And Jenny is over here. Jenny is the red dot. Jenny is the red dot. Which one is the Tate Modern? A, B, C, or D? Let's do it. <laughs> Excuse me, please. Where's the Tate Modern? Sorry, I don't live here. Modern near here? The Tate Modern. It's near here, but I don't know exactly where. Sorry. Thank you. Excuse me. Can you tell me the way to the Tate Modern, please? Yes, of course. Go straight on, go past the church, and then turn left at the traffic lights, and it's at the end of the street. Sorry, <laughs> could you say that again, please? Yes. Go straight on, go past the church, then turn left at the traffic lights, and it's at the end of the street. You can't miss it. Thank you. Okay, so which one is the Tate Modern? A, B, C, or D. Check it with your partner. The Tate Modern is the building B. Look, go past the church, turn left at the traffic lights, so it's going to be B. Well done. Now, everybody, watch again, complete the phrases. For example, excuse me, please, where is the Tate Modern? All right. Listen and complete. 
Excuse me, please. Where's the Tate Modern? Sorry, I don't live here. Modern near here? The Tate Modern. It's near here, but I don't know exactly where. Sorry. Thank you. Excuse me. Can you tell me the way to the Tate Modern, please? Yes, of course. Go straight on, go past the church, and then turn left at the traffic lights, and it's at the end of the street. Sorry, could you say that again, please? Yes. Go straight on, go past the church, then turn left at the traffic lights, and it's at the end of the street. You can't miss it. Thank you. Okay, so... Excuse me, please. Where's the Tate Modern? Sorry, I don't live here. Excuse me, is the Tate Modern near here? The Tate Modern. It's near here, but I don't know exactly where. Sorry. Thank you. Excuse me, can you tell me the way to Tate Modern, please? Yes, of course. Go straight on. Go past the church. Then turn left at the traffic lights and it's at the end of the street sorry sorry could you say that again please important could you say that again please sorry i didn't understand could you say that again please uh-huh yes go straight on uh -huh. go straight on go past the church then turn left at the traffic lights and it's at the end of the street you can't miss it you can't miss it. It's obvious. You can see it. You can't miss it. Thank you. Well done. Now, everybody, listen and repeat. Excuse me, please. Where's the Tate Modern? Sorry, I don't live here. Modern near here? The Tate Modern. It's near here, but I don't know exactly where. Sorry. Thank you. Tate Modern, please? Yes, of course. Go straight on, 
go past the church, then turn left at the traffic lights, and it's at the end of the street. Sorry, <laughs> could you say that again, please? Yes, go straight on, go past the church, then turn left at the traffic lights, and it's at the end of the street. You can't miss it. Thank you. Okay, very well. So, can you or could you? Can you tell me the way to the Tate Modern? Could you say that again, please? We can use can you or could you when we want to ask another person to do something. Could you is more polite, better. Could you please pass me the salt? Could you please open the door? It's more polite. It's, it's a better way. It's a good way. All right. Can you can tell your friends, Jimmy, can you open the door? Your friends, but more polite way. For example, uh, Mr. Jones, could you please open the door, please? A good way, a polite way. Okay, now the last part. Watch, mark the sentences true or false. Let's do it. Sorry about the weather. Yeah. But what a view. It's a great bridge too. It's the Millennium Bridge. It's not for cars, only for people. It was the first new bridge over the Thames in 100 years. <laughs> you sound like a tour guide. <laughs> Sorry. I interviewed the architect last year. So, what would you like to visit? What is there to see? Well, we could see the Tate Modern first as we're here, and then we could go to the Globe Theatre. Do you like Shakespeare? Not really. I studied too much Shakespeare in college. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's Daniel. Sorry. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Jennifer. How's your free day? Are you enjoying London? Absolutely. It's fantastic. Listen. I have some free time today. Would you like to meet for lunch? Ah, oh, that's really nice of you, Daniel, but I'm sorry, I can't. I'm really far away from the office right now. That's okay. No problem. Maybe another time? Definitely. Bye. What did he want? Anything important? Not at all. Hey, let's go inside the Tate Modern now. Yeah, of course. There's a great restaurant on the top floor. The view is fantastic. The Tate Modern was a power station until 1981. Did you know that? I didn't. Do you know anything else about the Tate Modern? <laughs> Thank you for asking. I know a lot about it, actually. Okay, very nice. Interesting. All right. Check your answers with your partner. Good. So the Millennium Bridge is for cars and people. Is it true or false? False. It was the first new bridge over the Thames in 100 years. True. Rob interviewed the engineer last year. False. Jenny doesn't like Shakespeare. True. Daniel calls and invites Jenny to dinner. False. Jenny accepts the invitation. False. There is a gift shop on the top floor of the Tate Modern. False. The Tate Modern was a power station until 1981. True. Okay, very good. Very nice. Now, watch or listen again. Say why some sentences are false. Okay? <laughs> Sorry about the weather. Yeah. But what a view. It's a great bridge, too. It's the Millennium Bridge. It's not for cars, only for people. 
It was the first new bridge over the Thames in 100 years. <laughs> you sound like a tour guide. <laughs> Sorry, I interviewed the architect last year. So, what would you like to visit? What is there to see? Well, we could see the Tate Modern first as we're here, and then we could go to the Globe Theatre. Do you like Shakespeare? Not really. I studied too much Shakespeare in college. Uh. <laughs> it's Daniel. Sorry. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Jennifer. How's your free day? Are you enjoying London? Absolutely. It's fantastic. Listen, I have some free time today. Would you like to meet for lunch? Oh, that's really nice of you, Daniel, but I'm sorry, I can't. I'm really far away from the office right now. That's okay. No problem. Maybe another time? Definitely. Bye. What did he want? Anything important? Not at all. Hey, let's go inside the Tate Modern now. Yeah, of course. There's a great restaurant on the top floor. The view is fantastic. The Tate Modern was a power station until 1981. Did you know that? I didn't. Do you know anything else about the Tate Modern? <laughs> Thank you for asking. I know a lot about it, actually. Well, that was interesting. Okay. So let's see why they were false. The Millennium Bridge is for cars and people. The br br bridge is for people only. Okay, Rob interviewed the engineer last year. False. Rob interviewed the architect. Okay, Daniel calls and invites Jenny for to dinner. Daniel invites Jenny to lunch. That's false. Number six, Jenny accepts the invitation. False. Jenny refuses the invitation. And there's a gift shop on top floor of the Tate Modern. False. There is a great restaurant on the top floor. Good. You did very good. Now, everybody, these are some social words that you can use. What a view. What is there to see? Would you like to meet for lunch? Maybe another time. Would you like to visit? We could go to the Globe Theater. That's really nice of you. Yes, of course. American and British English go straight ahead. Across from. Okay, these are American English. Go straight on. British English. Opposite. British English. Now, can you ask for and understand directions? Yes, you can. You're my student. Can you give simple directions? Of course you can. And can you ask someone to do something in a polite way, in a good way? For example, could you please open the door? Could you pass the saw? Of course, you can. You're my student. And that's it for today, everybody. Well done. You did very good. Keep believing in yourself. Whatever you believe here becomes reality. You can do it.